I was going to call this video, I'm moving back to Kansas, but then I decided, you know what, it really should be called, I moved back to Kansas, because as this video is being published on the morning of March 27th, I will be moving into my new place in Kansas. So I've already moved at this point. I have moved back to Kansas. This video is going to be slower and less energy than a normal video. It's a true story. It's not false. The only way that, that the title could be false is if you consider the fact that I'm driving in Maryland right now. It's about two weeks early. I'm recording this video two weeks ahead of time because I have to load up my gear. I got to load up my bike. Obviously, I got to record this before I'm busy moving. Uh, so yeah, I'm in Maryland when I'm recording this, but as this video is being uploaded on, I moved back to Kansas. So once again, much like when I moved from Kansas to Maryland, the two weeks leading up to, I'm saying all my goodbyes, I made a trip out to, well not gonna lie, I went out to eat at, uh, meet with Jordan and eat our freaking favorite wings ever, but also besides since I was out there, I need to go to JT and say goodbye to the guys, because I do really like them and I appreciate them. And I'm gonna be sorry to be losing them. So I want to shout them out. JT Motorsports in Frederick, Maryland are freaking awesome. Been taking my bikes there to get serviced. Really does suck that I'm going to be missing out on them, but if you get a chance to have your bike looked at and you're near there, go freaking visit JT Motorsports. I love the guys there. They've been really good to me. I don't like getting personal on my channel because that's not what my channel is for. My channel is invariably affected by my personal life to one degree or another and I keep as much of it to myself as I can and I will continue to do so because quite frankly it's nobody's business but some of it is relevant to you so I kind of have to tell you some things. So uh, a lot of you probably know that I moved out to Maryland to be closer to my girlfriend and Unfortunately, we decided to mutually separate because, long story short, and all you really need to know is that we didn't agree on our future plans. Uh, kids was a main one, but we got together with the purpose of getting married and being together, but our future plans don't really line up. So, unfortunately, it doesn't make sense for us to be together, so we decided to separate. And I want to go ahead and stress that we're both on very good terms. Breakups suck and everything. But as far as a breakup is going, it's going great. I don't want to sound like I'm, what's the word? Not, I, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm talking a lot, but we're both doing great. We still like each other and care for each other very much. We're planning to keep talking and everything, but I have no reason to be here now. So my lease is ending at, here in Maryland for my apartment and that's why I'm moving when I'm moving. So I'm going back to Kansas. I've been packing up my life and trying to reorganize everything to go back to Kansas. And of course, um, the situation with Maddie isn't easy either, but I've just been completely focused on that and the move. And it's weird talking about this as if it has already happened because it hasn't happened for me yet. I still got, well, two more weeks. Yeah, I got two more weeks from today until I move into my new place in Kansas. But as you're watching this, it's already over. And to reiterate, you know, I don't even want to talk about any of this stuff, but I kind of have to because if I just move back to Kansas with no explanation, people are like, well, why did you move back? Where's Maddie? So, you know, I have to address it, but I'm only addressing what I feel like I need to. So I hate to ask, but please be respectful of Maddie's and my uh, privacy. Please don't bomb her with questions and stuff on social media. That's That wouldn't be respectful. So with that, like I said, I'm saying my goodbyes here in Maryland and this is actually my last ride here on this motorcycle. I got one stop to make before I get home and this will be my last ride in Maryland. Now, there's a good chance that I'll end up in Maryland again because I have friends here now. Uh, namely Jordan, AKA Dad Mode, who I wanna go ahead and shout out again. Um, he's a friend that I've made here and we'll get together to do stuff whether that's in Maryland or not. I don't have any plans to visit Maryland, but there's a fair chance that I will. The moral of the story is this is uh, my last, probably my last ride with this bike in this state. Anyway, it's my last ride. So thankfully the weather is perfect for today. Freaking, what is it, 72 right now? It's awesome. I don't want to talk about my future plans too much. I kind of want to wait until next week's finally Friday, which will be in Kansas to talk about, you know, everything that's going on there and all the, and all the optimistic future stuff. I kind of want to reserve that, but I'm trying to think of what it is you might need to know about the future right now. Oh yeah, this is kind of important. Um, this is good news. Moto Monday is coming back. So for any of you who might be sad that I'm leaving Maryland, there might be some of you, <laughs> there might be some of you in Kansas who are sad I'm coming back to Kansas. <laughs> there, 
for the, uh, there'll be those of you who are happy will come back to Kansas, but all of you can be happy that Moto Monday is coming back. Well, not to sound super dismal, but I really don't know what else there is to say. I think I said everything that needs to be said. This video doesn't have to be long, and I'm just gonna end it here. So, next time you see me, it should be finally Friday, and it will be when I'm in Kansas. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye.